Oh, secret. A secret. Secret garden. I hope it's a kitchen garden. Oh, it's a kitchen garden. That's the kitchen garden. Can I hold this building? The map. This part of it, of course, is the flowers. But I can see here the pots for forcing the rhubarbs. <laughs> Let's make a video about this. In the January, February, and March, when you have rhubarb and they have not yet grown big or they're practically there, there are bumps in the ground. We should put this over them. Uh, they will be excluded from light. They can grow actually. They will be warmer a little bit in that environment. And they will give you beautiful shoots and long stems. So we can harvest them early. But later you have to let them grow. So I have one of these. I have to use it next year. Oh, sage. I can say this is lavender probably. Oh yeah, that's lavender. Ah, strawberries. Oh, you can harvest it. They're all ready there, but nobody is there to harvest it. And beautiful uh, globe artichoke. Ours is in flower. Is it globe artichoke? Oh, they have black fly. It's a black fly. Yeah, globe artichoke takes, is really prone to the black fly. Yeah, this one has black fly. But they'll be behind. Oh, look at the size of this strawberry. This is jumbo. I have that. And look at the garlics. Is it elephant garlic? Yeah, yeah garlic. Yeah, garlic. Valedo. Oh. Valelo, Valeldo, Valelado White. Okay, Valelado White. Yeah. And this one, Valelado White, huh? This is the elephant garlic. Oh, elephant garlic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They call it in Persian Musir. Mm -hmm. Another one. Mm -hmm. Sage. Mm. Oh, it's nice. 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 That's rosemary. Yeah. Rosemary is this. That's, no, this is rosemary. Smell it. That's rosemary. That's sage. This is sage. That's not sage. Is it? Okay, yeah. Well, I, I forgot that name of it. Oh, anyway. Lix. Salad onion. Oh. And beetroot. And parsnip. Look. Parsnip always grows patchy like that. <laughs> Without looking at it, I can say parsnip. But you can see the label here. You need really fresh seed for that. <laughs> And mint. Oh. Lemon balm. Oh, lemon balm. No, that's not lemon balm. No. That's a kind of, I don't remember the name of it, but. Wow, well, I'm not sure. But carrots, look. That's the mentos. Yeah. I'm not sure what that one is. No, I don't know what's that. That's carrots. Carrots also has grown patchy. Oh, look at their lovely radishes. The carrots are growing is called resitarfi or resitafi, resitafli, resistafli. Mm. And sweet, uh, sweet peas. And beetroot. Those are not beetroot, those are chart, Swiss chart. Oh, it's lovely. I like this sweet food. These are so aromatic. Oh, look at the potato, how strong they are growing. They look like this kind of uh, main crop potatoes. Probably the zero. Let me see what is it. Oh, that one is written Charlotte. I can read it. That's Charlotte. So, how the Charlotte potato looks at this time in June? <clears throat> That's the Charlotte potato, and they have not been earthed, so you can see they have a stem straight up coming up, have small leaves, then main leaves. 
and rosemary. Mm, also, this flower you can eat. And this is a pear. No fruit on it. Oh, there is a one fruit. A few here. These are chive. Chive. Oh, this pear has a lot. What's the name of it? Nobody knows. Yeah, this is apple. Not many apples. Just a few clusters here. Oh, look at this pear. That's nice. The name of it is written actually. Pear. Bear hardy. Okay, that's a bear hardy pear. Oh, and these are soft fruits, as you see. Goes forever. And there's some kale and some cabbages and other things, brassicas. Beside these apples. This is a. This is not apple. This is a um, pear. But not many fruits. A few here and there, if they keep. This is a apple. No name, of course. Uh, not many apples, actually. So. Maybe they're buying you know, a few pears in this. Again, beautiful chive. Look at that. The flowers of chive look at this time of the year in June. That's a chive flower. And you can cut the stem and eat if you want. Uh, Pear and apple. These p apples are not really good. Look at it. This is full of aphid. The ants are bringing them. Full of aphid. But no name. Again, no fruit. I suppose they just recently started to train them. Oh, look at the broad beans. Yeah. And they're ready, those lower ones are ready to harvest. I can see. Oh, my goodness sake. I think this is that uh, Aqua Dolce Claudia. That's the winter one they planted oh. in winter. And this one is the Aqua Dolce Claudia. Aqua Dolce Claudia. Yeah, yeah, they grow easily in the winter. But oh, they're hardy, you know, relatively. And this is the rhubarb chart. Oh, look at this. Globe artichoke. We have globe artichoke, by the way. We have to harvest it. Just remind me when we have to. But look at this asparagus. These are really behind the hours. Ours are really big now. We have let them to go fern. But there are different varieties. You can see that this is pinkish. And those ones are different. How the asparagus looks in early June. These are different asparagus here, you can see. The spears are coming out of the ground. They're kind of pinkish purple color. And those ones are a bit ahead. And some of them actually have turned to fern. So this one you can harvest them because they're probably late varieties. It's a beautiful wigwam, Susan. Isn't it lovely? Tudor salad and it's grown as this uh, support for the sweet peas. Mm. I like that. Really made it look like a... What is that? Gherkin in London. <laughs> That's a gherkin. <laughs> and you can see the... Again, sweet peas there. Oh, look at this amazing setting of the beautiful set of the beans. I have to grow some beans again. I think I will try this style, probably. That's really encouraging. The actual beans are growing on the, on the twines. You could have the... Um, you could train the pumpkins to 
Come yeah. I think we have two wigwams. <clears throat> we can join them by the line of this. Yeah, between them. Yeah. That's a very good idea. I like that. To sow? Oh, such a simple way to grow tall pills. Yeah, we can. We have this netting. Let us do this. Oh, let's do that. I like that. I have the time to sow more because uh, we need succession. So, and also this lovely. I think there's a daffodil. Oh, look at this. Globe artichokes. Yeah, Is it globe artichokes? No, they're, they're huge. Some of these leaves actually can be not chopped and eaten. Yeah. But I'm fascinated by this bean. If you think about this bean stands, bean support. It's a brilliant idea, huh? Just put uh, several of these supports and then a net between them yeah. and plant the beans under them. Yeah, just hang the net. It's like a piece, yeah. And you will have a good supply of peas. I prefer peas to the beans, in a way. And what's the name? Sugar, sugar pot. Oregon sugar pot. That's the tall bean, tall piece, so that it will grow really high. And I see these beds are no dig method. Yeah, 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 this is a no dig method in the heat cut. Mm. Oh, those are the plants we have. Alcione. Mm. This is another part of this, which we can see the some of these plants which are in the family of garlic, Alicium, and some of these flowers that we already have. They're beautiful. And some new, uh, probably from seed, these are the rhubarbs. And these are the plants which are going to seed now, so. And lovely, beautiful sunflower, a row of sunflower. Yeah, and I see a gladiola. And asparagus. They're really gone tall, these are really early. Mmm, and a beautiful sweet piece. It looks like something. I don't know. Mm. Oh, they have a nice smell. I mean, there must be flower. Oh, here it's written. Oh my goodness, it just like garlic. Knotia rostel. Pasta. Mixed pasta, postal mix. Oh, postal mix. I think it's pasta strong. mix. I think <laughs> Trying to read nice reverse. Nice and more of this lovely flowery thing is probably a gift flower. Mm -hmm. And this kind of weedy stuff which they give a beautiful things probably in the autumn. And lots of gladiola. Mm -hmm. And these kind of flowers that we have also. Mm -hmm. The tiny flowers. And we come here to horseradish, a patch of horseradish there, a plant which makes you cry. <laughs> Susan, do you like horseradish? Yes, horseradish. Sauce. But it's a plant that makes you cry. You know how it does? When you try to cut its root and skin it and use it, process it, or chop it, it releases a gas that mm, is that really onion. more stronger than any onion. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I tried it. It really burns. <laughs> Even your hands get contaminated with it. But you touch everything, it burns. <laughs> oh, chard! I planted lots of chard for winter. Perpetual spinach. Okay, that's kind of chard. It's a beautiful garden. Oh, look at that. There, I should do this. I have a lot of flowers like this. We can get the seeds. Oh, oh. Okay, when you have some 
flowers and or plants or vegetables that they go to sit. What do you have to do, Susan? I just hang them upside down, basically. In a dry place that you oh, know. Oh, yeah, in a cool, dry place. Yeah. I think polytunnel can be a good place, or if you have a big shed, Maybe you can do that. Yeah, oh, look at all of this. Poppy seeds. Poppy yeah. seeds. Oh, I have a lot of this. I will do that. Thanks, ideas. Thank you, Heathcote Garden. You reminded me. Welcome to the kitchen garden. The fruit, vegetables, and flowers are grow, we grow are used in our restaurant or sold here. We do not use chemicals in the kitchen garden. We have 10 lovely volunteers who, came, who come each week to help plant, weed, harvest, dig, and pick bunches of flowers. Oh, that's a little bit of a donation. This is beautiful, Susan. You should do this. Oh, yeah, kitchen garden variety 2018. That's the varieties of plants they have here. I think for the sake of record, I take photographs of this or for the video. So anybody who wants to grow things, you can just follow this. And. Uh, I try to go slowly. That's beetroot, by the way. Uh, bluebells yeah, don't give such things. I think it's a foxglove or something like oh, that. Maybe it's bluebells uh, have bulb. Okay. Flower varieties 2018 that are grown in the Heathcote Garden. So I try to go through them slowly so you can see. Can I stop any moment that you want the video and just write the name of the flowers? Okay, we are now going to the rest of the kitchen garden at the heat cut garden, which is a national trust. Uh, property and I don't see much apples in these uh, apple trees okay there's a work in progress oh this one has a lot of pears this little tree <laughs> they're trying to grow them in the you know in the fan shaped train them in the spaliers quite a strong wires they're using look at that that will last and they don't need tensioning because they're already tensioned. But just slightly tensioned probably from here, not much. Oh, here. Look at the cold frames they have. Volunteers have done well in here. I mean, for a volunteer, you, you may say that not many people feel responsible when you are a volunteer because you depend on many other people. If they don't do their job, you will not be. Must be good coordination between them. And as you can see, they just left their fork in the ground or spade just before leaving. Yeah, for, for beauty. Looks too short and too old <laughs> to be of any use. And a tennis court. For anyone who wants to spend their time playing ball games in allotment. Okay, this is the greenhouse in the Heathcote Garden. 
and don't access private we don't enter it but look at the plants you can film them and you see there is a blower here which uh, hot box is blows hot air and these plants probably need a lot of heat many of them are from desert areas a big plant there looks a little like banana but it's a different color so big operation